Hey everyone, welcome back to another Challenge Tuesday video. Today we'll be hopping back over to the offensive side batting and we'll be doing another batting challenge. As you can tell from the title of the video, we will be using the power hit only today. Um, I know a lot of people have debated between only using power swings, saving it for clutch situations late in the game when the other pitcher is tired, when should I use power? Hopefully this video will shed some light onto what it's like using the power hit every single at bat. And let's see what the results are. So far, got a deep fly ball to left field. Easy out. Another straight down the middle. Chopped it up above the pitcher. Got out to first. Nice single there. Um, yeah, let's see how many home runs we can get though if... There we go. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Just as I was talking about it, we hit a two-run homer, 400 feet to right field. Let's get that home run count going up in the corner. Which corner? This corner, that corner? Who knows? But we do have one home run up on the board. Easy ground out. One for one. Hey, at this rate, nine home run game? Hey, why not? Okay, that's... Oh. Maybe it was the power that got it past the shortstop. Who knows? Conspiracy theories. Deep center. Not going to get far enough. So we do get a home run in the first. Um, things are looking good. Let's see. Oh, and we give up two. So game's tied. Oh, that looked like it was going all the way. Uh Probably just a double. I've never had a ball hop the fence for a ground rule double, but it's always been near the fence, crashing into the fence. There we go, another deep ball to left. Now, I will say that it might look easy that I'm getting all these deep hits and I did get a home run, but we should note that the pitcher is throwing mostly fastballs, nothing hard like fork balls or curve balls. Those can be a little difficult difficult to deal with excuse me but these are relatively easy pitches not much movement on them so i think that actually could be a strategy to just use power hit when you notice the pitcher's not throwing a lot of curves or hard to hit pitches um because these aren't too bad so here we go another right by the first baseman's head Two on, no out still. Uh, oh, that was bad. Swung late. Yep, there's a double play. Close. But yeah, let's look at this pitcher. He has 75 fastball, 75 fork. I haven't really seen that out yet. 64 control, 5.13 ERA. So not the best pitcher per se, but... There we line drive to shortstop. That probably could have been better. I think I hit it to, um, I hit it a little above and wanted to kind of get under the ball. But let's skip to the bottom of the third and see what we can do here. Mike Trout up first for us. Uh, not able to get it above the first baseman's head this time for that first out. Deep, uh, another one deep to center, but doesn't go over the wall. So we're going to have to settle for a double here. And let's see what the next batter can do up. We have our DHG Wilson. So on this guy, oh, that could have been a home run, but I just hit it just a little bit too late. Just went off too far on that right field corner. Um, let's... Uh, again, so close. Let's try to time that pitch. I think if he throws that ball again, we can get a home run. And he hits with the fork. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. That's only slightly embarrassing. And we're going to hit it back to center. And third out. But, yeah. Let me know, guys, down below in the comments, what kind of challenges you've liked. Um... Are there any that you want me to do again or anything that you want to see? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll try to do these every Tuesday or every other Tuesday um, as we see if my schedule gets a little bit more busier. 
might not be able to do these on a weekly basis, but we shall see. Okay, so there's another strike through a fork ball. Um, let's try not to strike out here, though. Yeah, the thing on power pitches is that it's hard to adjust. If there's any sort of movement, if the ball dips down and you go down, you might just hit on the top of it, get a little bouncer, or just hit a line drive if you are able to hit under it. But if they're doing a lot of fastballs down the middle, we should be able to... Uh, that would have been the perfect one. The bad pitch by the pitcher. Slow fastball. I always jump those because it's just a juicy ball right down the middle. You want to just slam it out of the park. But you jump on it, go too early, so it's not as... Oh, that's really... Okay, he'll... Let's see if we can... No, just go to third. Okay, so we have one man on third with one out. Mike Trout, what can you do? That's going to be outside. Yeah, called it. So now he's throwing some sinkers, some forks. So we got to be careful for those. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Yeah, um, that was a dumb mistake. Should not have done that. Probably cost my team a run. But we are still, I believe, yeah, we're still up 4-2. to two. Bottom of the sixth. There we go. Let's go. Oh, man. One thing I have noticed, though, a lot of very deep balls, but not can't convert to the home run. Maybe I just got to increase the power stats of my players, but not not going over the wall, going to the wall. That's going to be low. Oh, stays inside. Okay, 0-2 count. We're going to have to swing at it. Get a little pop. Okay, got him to third. So one man on third, one out. Let's see. If we can bring him home. Nope. Another bad hit. It's honestly, I don't know. I don't think, I honestly don't think it's better. Because it's a lot harder to hit the balls. And you end up just getting a lot of line drives. You do get the occasional deep, deep fly ball. But if you can't follow that up with good contact on the rest of your hitters. It's not going to do anything for you. So here we go, go high, deep, to left, mid-left field. Doesn't get much out of here, bottom of the seventh. Fork balls, yeah. So now he's mixing it up a little. Ooh, that stays in there for a called strike. That's going to go out, yep. Okay, one, two, count, bottom of the seventh. It's going to swing on this one. Straight to the right fielder, okay. Yeah, definitely a lot harder, but we've still had some success. Um, a lot of those chop just ground balls right back up to the middle. So um, let me know if that happens to you as well. It's happened a couple times now here, but just want to see if that's a common occurrence or not. So bottom of the eighth, we're only up by one. Let's see if we can put in another run to give us a little bit of a cushion heading into the ninth. Nope, back up to center. Still only one home run, so I guess that didn't didn't work out as planned. As I was talking about home runs, again, going deep midfield, 401 feet, home run, Mike Trout, sixth of the season. Let me know down below, what's your furthest home run? I know it's really hard to get them to center field when you're just starting out, but... It's possible. I mean, I think he has like 80 or something power. So you might need a pretty high power stat to get it that far. But we've had two pretty deep home runs today, which is really good, actually. I usually don't really get them. So, I mean, this could be useful. This, I think, I would definitely say that your home run chances do increase with power hits. Um, although this is just a sample of one game, we might do a series where I'll do maybe 10 games all power, 10 games normal, and compare the home run stats. I'm sure that the power hits will be higher home runs, but only two for this game, which is pretty good, better than average. We're going to go into the ninth and see if my pitcher can close it out. And they don't. And they let... Up six runs in the ninth. 
that's honestly kind of sad. Um, if we can make a comeback here, nope. Yeah, we're going to need a couple home runs here. Maybe a Grand Slam. I've always wanted to get a walk-off Grand Slam. Always. Hopefully the day I do, I'll get it on film, on camera for you guys. But hopefully, um, yeah, haven't seen it yet. Haven't done it yet. I have hit a Grand Slam before, just not walk-off Grand Slam in epic fashion. Maybe I'll do a... Oh, I do strike out there and... Maybe I'll do a 24-hour chasing the Grand Slam stream at a million subscribers. Hit that subscribe button as we do lose the game because my pitchers choked in the end there. Anyways, thanks so much for watching again another challenge video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below if you have any comments, suggestions for future videos in the series. As always, please get to subscribe. Stay up to date on all new videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!